Whether it's for business or pleasure, when choosing what to include in my toiletries bag, I think about items that will bring along the familiarity of my everyday grooming routine. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every item and product that goes in my toiletries bag and show you how I pack them. I'll link every item you see in this video in the description box. And starting off with my choice of bag, I make sure I choose one with little to no compartments. I have tried several toiletries bags throughout the years and found that the one with minimal to no compartments works best for the simple reason that your choice of toiletries might not always fit in compartments. Okay, starting off with the basics, while hair shampoo and body wash seem like an obvious choice, I know many of you are thinking if I'm ever at a hotel, I would just use the complimentary toiletries. A piece of advice, take it from someone who lived in hotels for most of his life, don't ever use those products, just bring your own. For mouth care, I pack my electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrushes are no longer a luxury product for the privileged. You can get one for around $30 that will last you a lifetime. And when used right, it's much more effective than your standard toothbrush. For toothpaste and floss, I'm a fan of the gum brand. Other medical brands like Sensodyne and Oral-B are also solid, but just stay away from commercial brands like Colgate. And to complete my mouth care regimen, I make sure to pack my mouthwash. Whichever mouthwash brand you use, just make sure it's alcohol free. When it comes to your teeth, spending a premium on carefully selected products is worth it. Just don't go cheap when it comes to caring for your smile. Alright, next is facial care, starting off with a daily cleanser. Again, you need to make sure you're properly cleaning your skin twice a day. If you're using just water or hand soap on your face, you need to stop doing that now because it severely dries out your skin and causes acne. The one I'm using here is soap free. And after cleaning, you'll need your moisturizer. I use Kiehl's Best Seller, it's made essentially for people with oily skin and is effective in reducing the appearance of shine. Being in my early 30s and working 80 hours per week and pulling long fun nights on weekends, I use the Eye Alert Eye Cream by Kiehl's to avoid puffy bags under my eyes and dark circles. It's something I use daily as part of my morning routine and choose to bring it with me when on the move. And still with skincare, I make sure to also pack a lip balm, flavor free, to avoid the lips from drying out and becoming choppy. Because I have a beard, I always pack my beard wash. Beard wash is a more gentle recipe compared to shampoo, which can leave your beard feeling itchy and dry. And to complement that, I use a beard moisturizer to avoid my beard from being flaky. Now if you don't have a beard and you're the type of person that shaves daily, I would replace the beard wash and beard moisturizer with a basic shaving kit. I recommend this beautiful set by Executive Shaving. The double-edged safety razor not only brings back the vintage look and feel, but it's also better at leaving the skin less irritated compared to modern razors. Just be sure to use a pre-shave oil and a moisturizer as an aftershave. I would also pack shaving cream, a travel-friendly shaving brush, and if you're feeling fancy, a lathering bowl. My skin tends to dry out from time to time, whether from frequent traveling or constant exposure to the sun or cold, depending where I am. So I make sure I also pack body lotion. I choose one that is odorless so it doesn't overshadow the fragrance I'm wearing. For my hands, especially now with the excessive use of sanitizing alcohol and hand gel, I make sure to pack my hand cream. With hand cream, don't be afraid of choosing one with a nice fragrance. And speaking of fragrance, make sure to bring along your favorite perfume. And of course, your deodorant. I prefer a simple roll-on deodorant that just smells clean, is free of alcohol, and doesn't compete with the fragrance I'm wearing. For my hair, I have my portable hairbrush by Kent. This one combines the traditional bristles with boar bristles and is very grippy. I also use hair wax and love this product. It has a very subtle shine with a strong hold. I prefer hair wax over gel because it doesn't give your hair a greasy look. Some miscellaneous items I also pack include eye drops because my eyes tend to dry out, paracetamol for the occasional headache, and tweezers. Alright, now comes the interesting part. At first sight, you might have correctly guessed that these will not fit in one toiletries bag. Another issue is getting through airport security when you just packed a carry-on for your trip with all these products on hand. So my solution for these two problems is buying a set of small containers. They're portable, travel friendly, and will keep you well below the fluid limits imposed by the various airlines. These containers will last you easily 5 days with frequent daily use. 
They also conveniently come with labels, so you don't confuse your products. Choose your largest items and fill the containers accordingly. I use them for my mouthwash, body cream, shampoo and body wash. For perfume, I try to get my hands on those free samples that sellers throw in your bag. I insist on getting the samples for the same fragrance I bought and pack those for my trip. For my toothbrush, I use a separate case for it that is well worth the investment. You don't want your wet toothbrush roaming around inside of your bag. And with the simple solution, you can see that now all of the products will fit in nicely. And this is where you will also notice the advantage of a simple toiletries bag with little to no compartments. And that's it for what's in my toiletries bag and how I pack it. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Do let me know in the comments section how you pack yours and if I missed anything. Thanks for watching.